radio operator, my driver, and my. Uh, General Joseph Dunford visited German right troops in Kunduz in the northeast. Yeah, yeah. It's the base is closing at the end of this year. Uh, yeah, thanks for what you do. The international force is reducing in size every day, ahead of the last international combat operations at the end of 2014. Here it's important because this road that you see down here is one of the ways... He said progress is not guaranteed as Afghan forces take the lead role in the last districts where they do not yet run the war for themselves. Later this month we'll transition uh, to Afghan lead for security across the country and it's their capabilities post-2014 that will ensure that the progress that we've made over the past decade is actually ensured. But do you see some of that progress as reversible? Some of the progress that's been made is potentially being lost? David, I do. At this point, uh, I would tell you that we've made significant progress, uh, but we're not yet at the point where I would tell you that's completely sustainable. And that really is the focus of our effort over the next 18 months. And frankly, why I believe this is we should start now, especially with regard to the Afghan security forces, talking more about 2018 than 2014. Uh, that, that period of time will allow these uh, gains to be sustainable. What about talks with the Taliban? Is it time for that now? I think eventually this war has to be resolved by political means. And, uh, and the Afghan people will have to come to some accommodation with all Afghans that want to return back here. And if peace and stability is to be brought to Afghanistan, then I think some form of, of uh, political reconciliation is critical. Getting an army out of Afghanistan is going to be harder than it was bringing it in 12 years ago. And the number of troops they leave behind is not yet certain. But they will only be training and advising. Afghan forces will be fighting a complex insurgency without this armour and the high technology of the NATO armies at their disposal. David Loyne, BBC News, Kunduz.